But first, we want to get to that breaking news. Police in Worcester out with these new photos of a man they say is suspect number two connected to the deadly shooting of a mother and daughter in Worcester. Police say Dijon Belnavis, who you see here, should be considered armed and dangerous. Good evening, I'm Monica Medea. Let's get right over to NBC10's Aaron Logan, joining us live outside Worcester Police Department with the latest. Aaron. Well, Monica, it has been a rough five days for friends, family, police, even strangers who want justice for Chastity Nunez and her 11-year-old daughter, Zella. While police are continuing to search for Bell Navis, a local woman is expressing her condolences to the mother and daughter's family through artwork. We're going to get to that in just a minute. But first, we want to show you again the two latest photos of Dejan Bell Navis. Police are asking everyone to take a good look and send them an anonymous text if you know anything at all about where he may be. Be. Now, we have that information on our website, so you can do that anonymously. Also, U.S. Marshals announced yesterday they're offering a $5,000 reward to anyone who can help police track down Bell Navis. He was last seen on Tuesday afternoon when he and Carell Mangual allegedly shot through the windshield of the car that the mother and daughter were sitting in, killing them. Investigators say both men took off in a car that was later found in Hartford. McGuall was arrested at a gas station in Worcester that next day. Now, there's no question this tragedy has hit the community really hard. A local artist says after seeing the beautiful photo of Chastity and Zella, she had to do something. So she painted a mural that will be given to the family very soon. A local company has offered to frame it. That particular photo was shared so many times, and honestly, it was shared with headlines that I just felt were were really heavy, and they were almost like a little inhumane. This is a, a mother and a daughter, so I was hoping that I could take that image and, and surround it by something that was beautiful and a lot more loving and comforting. Now, Janessa says that she's never met the mother or the daughter, but she has some mutual acquaintances with the family, so she said she really wanted to do something. We're going to hear more from her in that emotional interview coming up tonight at 11. In the meantime, she, like police, are asking anyone who has any information to please report it if you know where Bell Navis may be. For now, we're live in Worcester. Erin Logan, NBC10 Boston.